Just a little over two weeks ago, we gathered as a campus community here in Asplund Hall for Welcome Back to WCU. We listened as faculty, staff, and students talked about getting out of their comfort zones and taking risks to advance this university and its mission. I heard many people tell me that they were inspired by Welcome Back and that it made them start thinking about ways to effect positive change in their own departments and offices. A few words of advice. Change needs to be strategic and thoughtful. Our new strategic plan is designed to guide us in our next steps forward. But as you set goals related to changing things for the better, don't get bogged down in the process of change. Know that roadblocks will get thrown up and things may not go exactly as planned. Know too that it takes tremendous work and sheer force of will to effect meaningful and long-lasting change. The difficult process of change didn't stop Sherry Fishbaugh, Mark Drum, and others who were on the stage from doing what it takes to make their vision a reality. Thanks to Sherry, we now have an autism program that serves the needs of our neurodiverse students. Thanks to Mark, we now have free e-textbooks that already are saving our students thousands of dollars with more free e-textbooks to come. If you've been percolating a good idea of your own, what have you done, small or large, to ensure that it sees the light of day? Now's the time to articulate your good idea in writing. Now's the time to talk to your coworkers and get their insights and feedback. Now's the time to work with your supervisor to turn your ideas into action. Listen as Mark, Sherry, and Peter Lodell, Director for International Programs, talk about taking risks and navigating the process of change. It's very important to uh, you know, establish this uh, group of people who believe in the project, who support what you're doing. Um, you know, when, when it comes time to do a larger scale project, you, know, you, you can't do this on your own. I would say our keys to success happen to be realizing that we're not on our own, that we have an entire campus and community here full of resources. And most importantly, I have to say, is the students' input, being able to see what they want to see, being able to hear what they would like to have in this store, um, as well as the different designs and their enthusiasm to get the Ram shop up and going. To have others who believe in what you're doing and are willing to help you uh, is uh, just immensely important. So the day after the President's Welcome Back address, I got an email from India suggesting we do a virtual signing ceremony with the President and with their President to sign a memorandum of agreement. Never done this before, hadn't really thought about this opportunity, but immediately kind of set the wheels in motion, understanding that the President's support, uh, which was there and appreciated, uh, and working with the DMC to say, you know what, let's put something together and we have to do it very quickly. Um, that's the kind of risks that I like to do and like to take and appreciate um, everybody's support from the DMC to the President's office to the Dean's offices that kind of came very quickly to support the project. If you missed Welcome Back, please watch it here. It's less than an hour and I'm confident you will be inspired by these campus change makers.